Good morning. Hi kids, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing great today. Today we are going to learn about Native American art. Since we're coming up on Thanksgiving, which is a traditional American holiday, I wanted to share some Native American art with you. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to go ahead and learn about Native American art. So Native American art is super, super important to our history, okay? So as you can see in the picture here, um, I'm wondering, what do you see? What do you see in this? I see some goats, I see a wheel, I see some different shapes, I see sh some people. So what else do we see? So who are Native Americans? Well, Native Americans are the people who lived in America, so where we live, before other groups of people traveled here and settled. So my family was from Poland originally, um, and Poland is kind of in Europe on the other side of the ocean. And before my family came over here and before all the people before that, Native Americans lived on this land hundreds of years ago and even still today. So one of the tribes that we are going to talk about is the Shawnee people. So the Shawnee people were in Ohio and still are. So the Shawnee were in Ohio at very early periods. They came here after being driven from the Cumberland Valley by the Chickasaw and the Cherokee in 1714. So a long time ago. Now, over the years, they worked their way to the north into Ohio and um, were, jo were joined by other people. So they were the native, the biggest um, Native American group in Ohio. So I thought it was kind of cool to talk about how there were people who lived in Ohio way before we did, way before. So one of the other people is Tecumseh. So um, he was one of the Shawnee military and political leaders from 1800s, 1800 to 1813. So he worked with his brother, which was the other picture I just showed you, and was known as the prophet um, to the people to unite American Indian tribes in the Northwest Territory to defend themselves against the people who came here after. So here is a map of the different tribes of people who lived here before we did. So we have the Cherokee people, the Seneca, the Mohican, um, the Shawnee, the Miami, um, the Wyandot. So we have a whole bunch of different tribes here in Ohio. And there were more than this too. These were just the major ones. And as you can see where it says Mohican in the middle here, that is kind of where we live. So it's kind of cool to know which tribes lived here before we did. So let's talk about a pictograph. So a pictograph is how Native people hundreds and thousands of years ago left messages. Um, they used different symbols carved into rocks or painted them. And we even see this in artwork nowadays or artwork just hundreds of years ago um, as they were still trying to leave messages and it was just like, a way for them to tell a story. So we didn't just see this with Native Americans, we also saw this um, in a little bit of a different way with the Egyptian people. So that's just one way that I remember um, kinda how they did that and what they did that with. So you can see here, these are the different types of symbols that they use. So we are going to be drawing our own pictographs later and making our own artwork telling a story, okay? So look at this picture here. This is thousands of years old. And um, look at all the different pictures. You can really tell what they are just by what we know. I see a barefoot, I see people, I see um, horses, I see lizards. So you could just stare at this for hours and see what you can learn. So another type of artwork that we traditionally see with Native American people is totem poles. So totem poles are these giant, I think they're usually made out of wood, wooden sculptures um, that usually have like seven to nine different spirit animals 
that the people would identify with. So for example, um, a lot of the times you might see a bird on the top. So it says Thunderbird. Um, and I'm gonna just read these to you in order. So the killer whale, the wolf man, the bear, the frog, um, a serpent, a seal, a salmon, a wolf, a raven, a frog, um, and a whale. So those are all um, represented here in this picture, in this one right here, okay? So you can see it. it's kind of cool. They have different heads of different animals um, represented. So what they would do is um, Native Americans would have um, kind of like animal guides that they would feel connected with. So in the tradition of native peoples, man and animal share an important bond. The creator gives characteristics to each person which can be shared by an animal. So they would pick these um, for their totem pole as to how they felt like represented themselves. So for me, I think I might pick a deer because a deer symbolizes speed and family protection. Deer is alert and a symbol of sensitivity and kindness. And I really like that one. So these are kind of cool things that you could look at. And if you want, you can pause the video so you can see um, which one you think you would identify with. So let's look at some Native American art. Here you can see the different pictures. So this is a little bit newer of a pottery made in 1994. Um, but I see the pictograph pictures of birds here around the top and then these other different symbols. So this one, um, this is a ceremonial dance blanket. So it is from Alaska, the United States. So there are people up in Alaska too that were Native Americans and still are. And this is made out of mountain goat wool, cedar bark fiber, otter fur, and dyes. So they um, use what they had in their environment to make their art. And you can see the pictograph images here too. So I thought this was really cool. This is a headdress frontlet. So made in the 1800s, so over 200 years ago. And I just think it's so beautiful because they use these beautiful stones in it. And I just think it's such a beautiful piece of art. So here's another picture of um, like the pictograph images that we were learning about. So they would decorate their pottery to tell a story. So more of a contemporary artist who lived, um, who isn't living right now, he has passed away, but he is one of the most famous um, Native American artists that we know of. So his name is R.C. Gorman. And R.C. Gorman made these beautiful, beautiful pictures. And um, in some of these pictures, I thought these were so interesting. As a Native American, he uses um, parts of his own culture to tell stories. So you can see the pot right here, how it tells the story, just like the other ones we were learning about. And look at his use of colors. I see a lot of warm colors in this picture and a lot of cool colors in this picture. Lots of details too. A Native American woman, um, their hair is so beautiful. Um, and he really represents that in these pictures. And here is another woman of one of his pictures with beautiful flowers. And here's another one I thought was super cool because you can see the different patterns and the different spirit animals and um, the little kid and probably maybe the mom looking up into the sky. And maybe the little kid is telling a story or telling her what he sees. So this is R.C. Gorman, and um, his family is a Navajo from the Navajo tribe, and they were rich in artistic talent and creative spirit, but were not in material possessions. Um, so he works out in he worked out in Arizona, where his family was from, and he has just been such an amazing artist, bringing a lot of Native American artists to light too. So, what we are going to do today is we are going to draw some Native American symbols together. So I'm going to switch my camera. And let's begin drawing some of these symbols. So let's start here at the beginning. 
So I'm going to start with an arrow. An arrow symbolizes protection. I'm going to use a different marker. So let's draw an arrow for protection. Okay. Now an arrow head is alertness. So I'll show you what an arrow head looks like. An arrow head is almost like a triangle with a little triangle on the bottom. So that represents alertness. Now a badger track, so these little footprints right here, I'll show you. This represents summer, summertime, okay? So I want you guys to try to draw along with me. Badgers have these little um, kind of like claws. So then I could draw a bear for strength. So I'm gonna draw a quick little bear and then fill it in because these are all symbols. Now, I would like you guys to use all of these symbols and try to make a story. Try to draw a story and then upload it on Facebook, or not on Facebook, on um, Seesaw. And um, I would love to see what kind of stories you guys make. So then we can come over here and we can make a bear paw. And this bear paw is a good omen, so like a good sign. And it also has these little claws, okay? And then we could do some mountains. This is for a great abundance. And then a bird, I love this one. I think this one is so cool. I think it's such a cool shape. Because it doesn't really look like a bird, but you can tell that's what they're trying to make. I love that one. I think that one is so cool. Now a broken arrow means peace, like no more fighting. So let me show you the one for brothers. This one is super cool. Now remember, you can pause at any time. And then this circle thing right here, and then these connect to the circle, just like that. I love that one. All right, let's do, this one is a butterfly, a symbol for butterfly. So it's a dark triangle on top. Then a line and a line with two lines going in to connect it in the middle. and a diamond in the middle. So I think that one is a super cool abstract version of a butterfly. We could also do a cactus, which means a desert. And we could also do, let's see. Ooh, how about we do an eagle? That means freedom. That one's super cool. And then an eagle feather, which 
kind of looks like this. And that means chief. All right, let's do, um, we could do a gila monster, which is a type of lizard, and that means dream time. So when they would have a dream about something, that's usually what this means. I think this one is a cool symbol too. Okay, and then um, a horse. Right here. And this means journey, like I just went on a journey. And then a man, this is a symbol for a man. Just like that. And then um, we could also do sun rays. So sun rays, just like this. And this means cons consistent, so like every day. And then we could draw a teepee, which is a temporary house, because they will travel. And if you watch the videos I attach, um, those will also teach you so much more about everything there. So that is it for my lesson today. Now don't forget to watch the videos and do your seesaw homework today, okay everybody? I will talk to you later. Goodbye.